today we're gonna play a game slash riddle I call it what I is that's the name of my game and I'm gonna give you some clues what I need you to do is try to figure out what this is based on the clues now I want you to keep in mind throughout this whole game that it is math related now Typically what I do is I have my students um, they have to raise their hand to answer and if they answer and it's incorrect then they're out the rest of the game. Uh, the winner, the one who gets it first, usually gets a prize. So um, if, you, if you're the first one to get it, then I want you to go out and get yourself something. Um, just try to keep it under $100. All right, here we go. What I is. First clue. I am closed. 24 7 365 and if you're not down with the slang that just simply means I'm um, closed all the time closed all day every day clue number two I have two legs but I'm unable to walk clue number three part of me is always like a hot summer day Clue number four, my legs are always shortest and they're most often not the same length. Clue number five, I am very hot internally, inside, which sounds like a personal statement too. Clue number six, I am never wrong. Clue number seven, my longest part is right between my legs. Keep in mind, this is math related. And the last clue that I have for you is that the majority of my relatives have four or more sides. And those are your clues. Um, I hope you were successful. And the answer to this riddle is I is or I am a right triangle. Now, right triangle gets its name from right angle triangle, which because it has uh, one right angle in it. So it's a triangle that has one right angle. So we call it a right triangle. Okay, um, I'm gonna put the bus in reverse and I'm gonna go back to the first clue and I'm gonna go through them in the order that I gave them to you uh, in order to try to figure out what this right triangle is um, and in order to figure out the riddle. And um, let's start with um, the first clue. The first clue I gave you was, I am closed, 24, 7, 365, which simply means it's a closed plane figure. All of the line segments meet at an end point here where it is closed off. So that's what I meant by that clue. The second clue was, um, I have two legs, but I cannot walk. I'm unable to walk, even though I have two legs. Well, there's a leg here and there's a leg here. These are what we call the legs of a right triangle. And notice how the legs always meet here at this point, where the right angle is, the right uh, 90 degree angle. So that's where the legs of a right triangle are. Uh, the third clue I gave you was, Part of me is always like a hot summer day. Well, that is the 90 degree angle. 90 degrees, pretty hot, opinionated statement maybe, but to me it's pretty warm. Uh, the fourth clue was my legs are always the shortest, uh, but not necessarily the same length. Well, the two legs, notice this triangle, the two legs, I give you the measurements here, the two legs are the shortest part of this triangle. In fact, the legs will always be the shortest parts of any right triangle. Um, and they won't always be the same length. So notice how here we have two different legs and two different leg lengths. The fifth clue was I am very hot inside, internally. So if you, look, um, if you know anything about a triangle, you know that the sum of the three interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So uh, that's, that's fairly hot. Um, that's, you could almost slow cook a turkey um, for a day at that temperature. And number six, I think was, I am never wrong. This triangle is a right triangle. Okay, um, I'm sure you can figure that one out. 
And number seven, the seventh clue was my longest side or part, <laughs> I think I said part, is right between my legs. Well, here are the legs. Here, what's between them? That word, that's called the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse or hypotenuse is the third and longest side of a right triangle. It's always the longest side in a right triangle. Remember that. And the last clue I gave you was about the relatives of this figure. Well, what I meant was um, other figures like four-sided, five-sided, six-sided figures. Um, they all had more size than this. And I was kind of hoping that you would, uh, with this last clue, be able to think, okay, three-sided figures and then put it together with the rest of the clues. Anyway, that is what a right triangle is. Now, um, what I'm going to do now, we're going to take a field trip and... The, the great thing about this kind of a field trip is, um, one, um, you don't even need a permission form to go. So um, that's good for you. It's not going to cost you anything either, so that's two pluses for you. Um, there's really no liability um, for me, so that's great for me. Um, and we're going to go on a field trip, and I'm going to show you in like real life uh, where we can find right triangles. I'm also going to show you in some other episodes uh, how we use right triangles all the time. And you can actually find or see right triangles when you don't even know they're there. You can't see them, but you will, after I finish, be able to see and notice where there are right triangles, even though they're not visible to your eye. So anyway, um, let's get ready to go for that field trip. Because um, we're in a store right now. I'm not going to say what store because they're not paying me for advertisement. So. Um, I found an example of a triangle in this thing. Is it a right triangle? Well, no, because it doesn't have an obvious 90 degree angle. So this would be an example of not a right triangle. Hey guys, I found um, some triangles. Do you see them? Yeah, they're on the corners. All of these are examples of right triangles. We have a leg and a leg and the 90 degree right angle here. And this will be the hypotenuse on all four corners. We're in a parking lot and this is another example down here of a right triangle. It has a 90 degree angle on this corner and the um, legs are coming off of it and then the diagonal leg is the hypotenuse. All right, here's an example over here on this bridge, this railroad bridge, of um, some more right triangles. You see where the 90 degree angle would be and also um, where the hypotenuse would be and the two legs. This is a picture of one of the implements from a tractor. Does this look like it's a right triangle? Well, no, because it does not have an obvious 90 degree angle. So if it does not have an uh, angle in one of the, at the one of the vertices that is close to a 90 degree angle, then you can go ahead and determine that it's not. So this would be a non-example for a right triangle. Would this be an example of a right triangle? It is not a right triangle. It does not have a right angle. Would this be an example of a right triangle? Yes, because it has one interior angle that is a 90 degree or right angle.